Hey folks, Phil Thompson here from uh, StreamingChurch.tv. I want to just talk for just a moment about record settings for vMix Live Encoder. Uh, I'm not streaming right now, but I want to show you uh, the record settings. So you go over here to the left side, you'll see record. That's what you would click if you were streaming and you wanted to obviously record the video to your local hard drive. We're going to go ahead and click the gearbox here and uh, there's some things you want to make sure you do. First of all, you want to make sure that over here on the left that it's set for MP4. That's ideal for uh, the servers we use. And uh, the file size, that can vary. Uh, I've got it set at 640 by 480, but uh, you could, uh, you know, you could do it a little differently. You could do 1280 by 720 or whatever you wanted to do there. Uh, frame rate really doesn't need to be faster than 29.97. But here's what I really want to highlight, and that's the bit rate. That's a video bit rate. Right now, the default on this thing is set for 8 uh, megabytes per second. No. Uh, you don't need to do that. I would back it down to three at the most. Uh, so please note that uh, it will reduce your file size and make it easier for people to be able to uh, view the video. Uh, the profile baseline H.264 is good. You could use uh, a hardline encoder if you've got that ability, that, that uh, ability to help the, with the streaming. Audio is going to go to master and audio bitrate 96 is fine. If you wanted to, you could go to 128 and then you can click OK. One more thing to note and uh, just ignore this because yeah, it's just my version of vMix here. One th more thing to note down here at the bottom of vMix, when you're streaming and recording, you want to look for the total total CPU. Uh, right now I'm not streaming and this computer is a little bit on the weak side so it's it's kind of bouncing around here right now which is not really I don't use this for streaming but you've got CPU vMix here uh, that's that's okay but the really thing you're really interested in is the total CPU and if it's buzzing around 40 if it's if it's going around 75 80 percent eh, you're getting close to the red line there so please be careful with that when you do your recording and your streaming video if you have any questions always reach out to us just go to streamingchurch.tv have a great day